Hello everyone. This is an extremely quick and simple video for Nomad. Hello Nomad. He wanted to know how do I close the inside of a Taurus in Das Studio. And apparently it's kind of a related thing to what we were talking in the recent Das Donut stream, but I don't recall addressing it quite like this. So I thought I'm gonna go and share this video with all of you. This is my donut here on my Taurus and the inside of which we wanna close off so that it becomes more like a coin. And I've made myself a morph for that. So this is what it does. It only affects the inside, not the outside of the donut like the push modifier does or would. And I thought I'd show you how to make that happen because it's really, really simple. It is happening in Hexagon or your favorite 3D modeling application. And watch this step by step, no matter. I hope this is what you're looking for. So first of all, we're going to make ourselves a torus, create new primitive. And we're going to use the torus primitive here. Dimensions don't matter, unlike with the push modifier, where the dimensions do matter because smaller values on the push modifier would affect a smaller donut more than they would a large donut. So in which case you need to, you know, crank up that slider, but it doesn't matter here. Any size will do. Mine stands up right, like so. And just for completion here, I'm in the wire texture shaded view so that I can see the geometry here. So with that donut selected, let's go and send it over into Hexagon so we can make that morph. So you'll head over here to File, Send To, and then, whoops, not ZBrush, sorry. <laughs> File, Send To, the Hexagon. Hexagon needs to be installed, of course, and uh, correctly mapped inside Dash Studio. And when that has loaded, we can see our donut here, or our torus here. So important thing, select the primitive so that it is selected. Then we go over and check out the edge selection here. And I'm doing that so I can go and literally have a look at this geometry. This is the inner ring that I need to select. So any of these segments will do. I'll just select this one here. And I need to not just select that one, right? I want the whole thing selected. So I'll click here on loop. I think there's also the L shortcut will also work. So that all of these things are selected. That's already it really. So now it's just about scaling them inwards. But that might look awkward as I do this, the yellow thing, because it, it only really looks at that one ring. So to make that look a little better, I'd say Control Z and use soft selection to make the change on multiple polygons. So not all of them. This would now mean the outsides are selected. So I might just go and make that a little bit smaller so that the red dots only ever go to kind of here that's probably good and now i'll go and left click and drag the yellow manipulator on the inside to make that ring smaller until it's as closed as you want so i'll maybe make that here so that there's still a tiny hole in the middle and that's really all we need to do change your tool over to object selection that i find is the easiest way to get out of this um, selection mode and then it's all a matter of sending this back to das studio where a dialog will pop up for hexagon morph. You can rename it here, double click it here and call it uh, close inner perhaps. And the only other thing that I make habitually, the other change is that I'll set this thing to reverse deformations to yes. So select it, then right click, say yes. We probably don't need it in this particular instance. I just do it anyway because you know, that's the kind of guy I am. Then I hit accept and that is that created morph successfully. That's what we want to hear. So still with our Taurus selected on the parameters tab, I can now go ahead to the morph section. And then I have the one that's called hexagon bridge. That's probably also something we can go and change on that little gear icon here. I'll just go and hit parameter settings. And maybe the path is something you want to change. I'll leave that up to you. What I'd like to do here is set the minimum value to zero and then just hit accept. And then we have our close inner morph that works exactly like I've shown you in the beginning. I hope this is what you're looking for, Nomad. If not, then please let me know in the comments. Anyone else, if you found this helpful, then please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel, of course, and don't miss the next DAS live stream with more 3D shenanigans. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.